Uh, I appreciate it when people do things that they're named for. I think I'm maybe doing what a Brock Wilbur should do. You guys can let me know if that's not the case. Uh, my high school football coach was Ken Stonebreaker. There were no options in that. Like, that guy can't work in IT. He's just, he teaches men to hit. That's, that's all there is. Or like a Yoko Ono. Oh no, it was built right into the name. It's foreshadowing. We all should have seen it. And then there's Rick Santorum, um, a guy who, his name previously didn't mean something, and then somebody made a sex joke out of it on the internet, and he couldn't be elected president. <laughs> to reiterate, someone made his name into a sex joke, and now he can't be president. <laughs> I'm not a great comedian, as you're already learning. I don't have a joke for this. I don't know where it goes. Maybe one of you can help out. But is it possible that someone could have made a sex joke out of the name Bush? <laughs> I don't know what it would have been. I don't know what it would have been, but maybe in 1988, if like some hack like Carrot Top had made one really good mussy Merkin joke, just <laughs> no wars, 12 years, jokes that make me sad when I say them. No real punchline other than me being sad. Um, there's one guy who's named for a thing that he should be doing and he's not doing it anymore. It makes me sad all the time, and that's Will Smith. Now, Smythen is a 14th century Teutonic word, means to craft. Will is a document with a lot of words. He's a wordsmith, he's a rapper. He's supposed to rap words. Someone tricked him into thinking he's an actor, and I know he doesn't want to do it, because you look at the first like 10 years of his career, he only signed on for movies that he already knew the title would make a really killer song. Like, if you think the movie Wild Wild West is better than the song Wild Wild West, you can wiki wiki wow wow go fuck yourself. Like, it's so... But he hasn't done it in a long time. He hasn't done it for... I just wish he'd come out one day and just do one song that covers all the movies we've missed in between. And uh, if he were to ever do it, I, I kind of hope that he would use this as a prompt. Ha <laughs> ha! Now this is a story all about how the script of Hancock got originally turned down. Now I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how Pursuit of Happiness didn't win an Oscar. Brock Wilbur, I shouldn't be rapping. That's not my place in life. He needs to come back and take it. If we're while we're talking about names, uh, last month I got my best heckle of all time. I said something about Romney and somebody in the audience just screamed, Ann Rand! I was like, what? Ayn Rand! <laughs> I don't care if you're being ironic or unironic, it's Ayn Rand. <laughs> you, can, you can get that much. 